Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's holding up over these trying times. I have another devo devotion for you. This one is entitled, Jesus Christ, Our Judge. I'll be reading from my Bible, 2 Corinthians 5, 6 through 10. So we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Therefore, we make it our aim whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Okay, that's the Bible reading of devotion. The Word of God reveals that Jesus Christ will one day judge every person who has ever lived. At that time, unbelievers will be exiled from God's presence, and believers will stand before Jesus with full comprehension of his extravagant grace. True followers of the Savior, however, have nothing to fear, as this judgment is not for the purpose of determining salvation. That was settled the moment they first put their faith in the Son of God. And as Romans 8 1 reassures us, there, therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Instead, the Lord will judge his own for the purpose of rewards. In other words, Though none of us can live a perfect life here on earth, we do not need to dread this face-to-face -face time of reckoning with our Savior. Christ's judgment is not a punishment. It is a reminder that we are pondering, pond pardoned. On that day, we will stand before the Lord, clothed in Christ's righteousness, and forgive and forgiven of every single sin, and we will at last fully comprehend the depth and breadth of his grace and love for us. Amen. I have a prayer here for anybody who wants to be saved, who's not saved. I'm going to read this prayer that you can say for yourself. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for coming as a lowly man to this troubled world. Thank you for dying for me. Forgiven, forgive me of all my sins. Lord Jesus, I believe into you and I receive you right now. Fill me with yourself as peace and be with me on my life's journey. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So you need to pray this prayer and you'll be saved and continue your journey with God and Jesus. Hope you enjoyed the reading. And until I see you again, God bless you all, and goodbye.